Hey YouTube, it's your girl S Golden on one here back at you with another video. Finally, right guys? Um, I'm sorry I took a little hiatus, but as you know, the the busyness of life and stuff, sometimes you tend to not have time to do the things that you love and have to do the things that you need to do. So again, I'm sorry about that. But um, hopefully you guys have checked out my new updated um, storage, my new box. If you haven't, guys, I'm going to put that link down below and you guys can catch it at the end of this video. So yeah, guys, um, I don't really have like that many things to update, but a seriousness that I think that is a really great update and I want to share with you guys if many of you guys can relate um, is that I've always been diagnosed with having anemia and my anemia has been um, iron deficiency I've had an iron deficiency ever since I was a kid and my iron deficiency it affects me a lot I tend to always be tired fatigued um, shortness of breath like lack of energy like i'm like always like trying to find a way to sleep so i recently um basically checked up on information about diets for people with anemia especially the anemia that i have which is iron an iron deficiency and i found out that um a great diet for a person of my nature would be a pescatarian diet and many of you guys are like many of you guys might know what a pescatarian is but for those of you who don't know what a pescatarian is a pescatarian is basically a person that does not eat any meat or meat products but does still leave um fish and other seafoods in their diet while taking in vegetables vegetables and all those other great ingredients in their diet so I've never been a pescatarian or a vegetarian I've always eaten meat I've always eaten pork um beef chicken everything I need I'm Haitian like most of our dishes are made with pork and chicken and beef and all that good stuff but um I wanted to try this to see um if how it would affect me how would it make me feel and stuff like that so my sister's been a pescatarian for about two years but I've never called her a pescatarian I always called her a, ve a vegetarian and then I had to do my research and find out what the difference was of course a vegan is a person who doesn't eat any animal products at all so basically no meat no nothing no fish nothing of that nature pescatarian on the other hand still allows fish and other seafood products into their diet so that's why I'm a pescatarian and um, I thought I couldn't do it because I'm like I've been raised on meat to always eat meat and to love and appreciate meat so on March 25th I decided that you know what I'm just gonna cut out all meat products and just become a pescatarian and honestly I guys I have not eaten meat since March 25th, and it's been a little bit, about two months almost, and I'm okay. Like, I have more energy. Um, I'm sleeping regularly. I'm not sleeping too long. I tend to have more energy, and I actually like it. I can't wait to go to my next doctor's appointment to see how my iron levels has gone up. Now, the thing about fish, you're not supposed to eat fish like every single day because as you know, fish contains a lot of mercury. So you're not supposed to consume it every single day. I don't consume fish every single day or seafood every single day. There are things are called like morning stars or boca. You can you eat those things like I eat a lot of morning star where you could get from your local supermarket or target so that's like an update for me that's a huge thing for me because I've been raised on eating meat and for not to not be eating meat for the last two months and to actually not miss it that's cool like to me at least I don't miss meat at all so yeah it's been good so other than that it's just been life um family is great friends is great all that is great I've been doing a lot of running around because my cousin's getting married and I'm also her maid of honor which means I'm like her wedding slave so I've been doing a lot of running around with her and stuff like that of that nature but hopefully guys I'll be able to have more times to be able to do more videos for you guys and I just want you guys to just um allow me to um intrigue you I guess or like share with you and I want you guys to do the same thing with me it's like a two-way relationship it's not a one-way relationship so anyway since I'm done with that I wanted to get all along with my um 
um, glam bag or ipsy bag. I w I didn't do my ipsy bag for the month of our of April, I'm sorry for the month of April, but I absolutely loved it. It was a pink, a pretty and pink concept. Um, everything is like scattered around now, so I wouldn't be able to show it to you for April. But I'm going to show you May's um, ipsy bag. And as many of you guys know, May's ipsy like the ipsy bag or the glam bag, whatever you prefer to call it, comes in this pink packaging. Okay securely and safe so yeah so today's well this month's bag is of course called spring fever which is really cute and it's it gives you as well this is the this is how it looks and then in the back it gives you like basically all of you know the products that you'd be able to get off featured in the bag like there's um new me Macadamia, Sancho Pays, Zoya, Anastasia, Yabby, Marabella, Juice Beauty, and Pacifica. So you have all of those in the back. And then they also give you a new me, um, basically a coupon code that you could use online if you decide to purchase anything from them online. And they give it to you. And it looks like this. This is the front. And then this is the back. Okay, so that comes, of course, in your bag. And the bag this month is really cute. As you know, in March bag, it was a Nautica theme. April's bag was basically a white bag with a pink um, stitching, just a little bit of a hint of pink patent leather. And then this month's bag is just spring fling bag, which has beautiful, um, this beautiful orange, white, um, turquoise color a little bit of navy blue and inside of it is turquoise as well and it says ipsy oh sorry it says ipsy so it's really cute and of course yeah and then of course you have your products so to go on with the product um this month i really really love this bag like it was really cute and really go um gorgeous um the first thing i'm going to show you is this zoya box which is right here. And I've never heard of this company or this brand before. So, yeah. The Zoya box. And then in the Zoya box, I it came with this really pretty nail polish. And the nail polish is called Jacqueline. And this is the nail polish right here. Okay. It's like a creamish kind of color. Which I think goes with all skin tones. Especially women of color. This is a really great spring color. I put a little bit on my finger. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just a little, just a little hint of it. Just because I want to swatch the color to see how it will look on me. This would be a really, really nice color, neutral color. So we got this nail polish. Um, and secondly, um, and this Marabella. It's this packaging right here. We got this really pretty lip pencil, and the color is called, let's see, it's M48, and I don't know what the color is. I think the color is called Charming. Yeah, the color is called Charming, and it's like this pretty kind of red-orangey color. Okay, it's really pretty. And then we got something from Pacifica, and it's the Tahitian Gardenia Perfume Roll-On, and this is the packaging. Okay, and inside the packaging is like this roll-on, really cute, roll-on, really, really cute. And it smells really nice. Mm. I love the smell. It smells really nice. And I think some girls um, got this one and some other girls got the pink one. So mine is the Gardenia. Mm. And then remember our Glam RX little um, magnetized palette that we got in the March um, in the March um, Ipsy bag? Well, it comes to play for this month because we also got a new sample and this color is called Pecan. But I don't think this is, um, I don't know if this is really an eyeshadow. 
I'm not sure because it's kind of creamy. So maybe it could be a creamy eyeshadow. I'm not really sure. But this is the color right here. And the color is called Pecan. And as many of you guys know, we got these two at the top. We got these two in the March oopsie bag. But this color is called Pecan. And it's like creamy. It's not like powdery. I don't know if you guys can see that color. It like blends in. You can't really see. It's like I have like an ash color. It, it feels more of like a concealer type thing. I'm not really sure. I got to do more research on it. But yeah, this is it. Okay. And then the last thing that we got was from Juicy, sorry, Juice Beauty, the organic solution. And it's just this um, lip gloss. And it's a full size. Okay, and I'm going to swatch it on my skin so you can see the color. You see that? Really pretty. Okay, really pretty. And then I'm going to try to swatch the Charming Lip Pencil. And this is it right here. And then I'm going to swap, I don't know if it's an eyeshadow or a concealer, right here. So yeah guys, that is this month's May Glam Bag slash Ipsy Bag, whatever you want to call it. So yeah guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions on what I showed you or any questions on what I talked about today, please let me know down below in the comment box. And guys, thank you for all my new subscribers, thank you for all my old subscribers and I love you guys for watching. Love you, peace and blessings.